Brian Powell of Iron Far here with uh, the returning women from the Team USA that won the gold at the IAU 100K World Championships in 2012. Congratulations, women. Thank you. Um, it's two and a half years later, yet you, you still retain the, uh, the reigning crowns here. Uh, does it bring any pressure to you guys coming to the race? or? Uh, I think with that uh, performance, I don't know if it's pressure, but I think that we all have the desire to repeat that. So uh, we're certainly, that's what our goal is and what we're gunning for. Yeah. I don't see this pressure. There's a few good teams here and, you know, anything happens on any given day. So we'll go out and try to you know, do our best again and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I think you can expect that we'll, we will perform well. I think, and I think most teams would expect that too from us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you guys have a lot of experience. Not you've done the 100K before here at Worlds, um, but a lot of other experience. It's not like you're going to go out there and hopefully we be too aggressive. Age wisely or... in the last two and a half years. <laughs> and there's a, a you know the American women's squad besides you three is very strong. I mean, having Larissa and uh, Emily here, it's two hard, big additions. So, yeah. Three to to the team. No weak links. No, because the, the three of you were one, four, and five two years ago. And, each of them could be yeah, up amongst any of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it must be exciting. To, it's it's exciting. For sure. I mean, it seems over the last couple IAU 100K, so the women's the American women's team has continued to get stronger and stronger, and the ball keeps rolling. Like more top women keep getting interested. I think, especially after you three and, yeah, and that. I think that's goal. what you just hit on the head is that there's always been some strong women ultra runner, but more and more of them are focusing on doing the 100K and, mm -hmm. and actually coming to this race and making it a priority. Yeah. I yeah. think the more exposure it got, the more people learned about it and how much fun it was to be on this team and representing the U.S. Um, has a real appeal. It must be an honor to represent your country. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Absolutely. And Amy, you're the. You won it last time. And yeah, you're I had a great day. Yeah. Um, yeah, on this year's team, any, any of the five could really uh, win the winning performance, and there's also a lot of great women on other teams, so yeah. And you feeling pretty good coming to the race? Uh, my year hasn't been ideal, but um, I'm definitely not overtrained or over raced, so um, I would have liked to have seen a different summer in the fall, but um, I raced recently in Japan, and for as little training as I've done, I did really well, so um, I'm not super confident, but I'm okay with my fitness. Yeah. And Megan, every time you show up at the uh, Royal 100K, you seem to run faster and faster. Yeah. Is that actually true? Mm, kind of. I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, not by heaps and bounds, but... Yeah. yeah. And, and I feel fit um, and ready and I'm excited, so that's a good sign to be excited about a race usually means all the things are in place mm -hmm. yeah. and uh Cam, you, <laughs> you ran pretty well a couple years ago and yeah. you've had some amazing performances since then yeah i mean i had a pretty tough schedule this summer with the western states ac double and i was pretty worn down after that mm -hmm. um had about seven weeks where i was pretty low I feel good now, but I feel like the block of training that I got was a little less than I would have wanted, but um, feeling like getting that recovery in was what was the most important during that Probably time. more important to be a little fresh yeah. rather than yeah. overtrain. So, you can strain that season along and yeah. it doesn't usually work out. Yeah, it a long season. But uh, you guys are the, have the gold medal still from last time, and uh, who do you think the other top teams are from the women? Uh, Great Britain has a great team of three really strong runners. If they all have great days, they'll be tough to beat. Um, but again, you know, I think they only have three runners, so you never know what's going to happen. Um, I don't necessarily know Russia and Japan are kind of perennially in, it, in the mix for the women. And it's so hard for us to find out. You're going to know a couple names from previous years, but... Yeah. And the times don't really say much, because if someone hasn't run 100K, then we're not necessarily on the split sheet. So. Like the predictions don't mean a whole lot. But. Yeah, I mean that's same goes for your team as well. Though, yeah, with yeah, right, Emily yeah. and Larissa. Yeah, right, yeah, they yeah. don't have qualifier times. You I, mean, know? I don't know what uh, Larissa just ran sub six hours for fifty miles, and Emily is uh, right, fifty k yeah. champion. Fifty k champion, 
world, you know, just ran second, the second fastest U.S. women's 50K ever this spring yeah. prom set, so. Yeah. Yeah. And she's done 100 miles since now a couple of times, and hasn't really nailed it yet, but yeah. has gone longer, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that'll be an exciting women's race. There's, yeah, you're really strong in this team. And on the uh, individual front on the women's side, I mean, obviously, having Ellie Greenwood here uh, is big. Yeah. 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 It helps. She's healthy and she's here. Yeah. Monica Carlin yeah. on the podium here. I think she's been as high as second. She won it before? I, I know she, that she's been second. second. Yeah. yeah. So. She's run sub 730, I think. So yeah, she's um, This year, I mean, past courses have been reasonably fast. I mean, at least when you've been running it, Megan. Because uh, you've run faster, you've run your PRs here. This is not going to be a PR day. It could on, be. You it, think so? It could be. Um, I think I think I PR'd at Gibraltar which is a very similar course. The 5K loop, it had some sharp turns, and it had more hill, hills to really? it. So okay. um, it, it could be a PR course, you know? I don't think it's going to be particularly slow. Really? I okay. mean, there are turns, but it's flat. And and what the about surface, the heat? I, it's like this. This is pretty nice. Today is actually, yeah, even better than last evening. Being out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going to be a slow course. And, uh, that, and the, you know, the three of you are coming back, and a couple more new Americans on the team. Do you guys think you'll work together as a team at all, or is it just really run your own race the whole way? I hope so. I mean, we did last time, and it worked well together. So I'm hoping we'll be able to group up a little bit. Um, yeah, it really helps, especially early on, to kind of stay a little calm. Yeah. We've run as far as what 50k together. Else, you know, I think we even did three laps together. Yeah, which right. Is 60k. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and that helped a ton. I mean, so it's and we are doing 20 loops for 5k, so I mean, it's going to get a little potentially, I don't want to say boring, but monotonous. Monotonous. <laughs> and so it would be nice to have a little bit of company to, you know, yeah. share that journey with. Yeah. yeah. It's just interesting to hear you say that it, you know, keeps you calm because you're at world championships there's a ton of great women and you know there's been two in the same race so you could be drawn out I think, probably well, i think it helped us a lot so like oh yeah just kind of i mean we started off quick too but we also um we were not in first <laughs> no we weren't pushing really we right. felt we knew we were going quick but we felt good and calm and there were chatting. lots of people going out ahead of us yeah do, do you guys talk at all when you're out there i mean yeah we chat yeah, a long yeah. Time, yeah. Because it's so. relatively, relatively easy pace. It's not like we're on a 5K. Yeah. I mean, we stopped chatting more until we got to, but <laughs> yeah. one. But it does <laughs> pass the time. Yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, in passing the time, it, that's time when you're not mentally engaged in terms of having to push or, or count. concentrate. <laughs> count or laps. It's almost free time. Well, cool. Best of luck to you, Pam. Thanks, Brian. Amy and Megan. Thank you. Good luck and have Thanks, fun Brian. out there. Great. Thanks.